So a problem that I've been running into recently, ever since I picked up my Sony a7 IV, is that I'm used to shooting on these types of mics, you know, professional mics that require an XLR input. And while, yes, this does have an aux cable and you can kind of do use a normal mic on it, I... You know, I've spent money on these mics, so I do like to use these microphones when I can. So I was looking for a way to get this high quality audio from these microphones into the a7 IV, but without losing the quality, because I know the preamps and stuff on these cameras don't tend to be as good. And I found a solution. So one of the first solutions that I attempted was just getting an XLR cable at one end and getting the 3.5 millimeter jack at the other end. You know, just having one cable that goes from XLR to 3.5 millimeter. And although that worked, it goes, you know, it works, it does plug into this and goes straight into the a7 IV. The issue I was having was that because the preamps on the a7 IV are so bad, you know, you have to turn the gain quite high, which means you get a lot of that hissing in the background. It's just annoying in post to have to fix. And the audio just doesn't sound as crisp. So I was thinking, what else can I do? Because, you know, I don't want to have to be carrying around loads of things or carrying one of those big kind of recorders. We have to plug into that. And it's, yeah, it's just more things to remember. So I was looking through all of my equipment to see, is there anything else that I do have that I can kind of solve this problem with? And then like, the next thing that came to mind was the Zoom H5, I think this is. Um, and yeah, although that solution works, you can record audio straight into this because it has the XLR inputs. I didn't want to have to always be singing in post because if you're shooting a lot of like short, short clips maybe, it's just a lot of things that you do have to keep singing. That's just an extra step in post that I don't have to take. So, after looking at this carefully, I realized there's an op like a port that I've literally never used on the side. Like me, then line out. I was like, so I can get audio straight from this into this. And it's still that same high quality audio. And all you need, you need is a normal 3.5 millimeter cable, your normal XLR cable. You put your XLR mic, into the external recorder then you get the 3.5 millimeter cable into that external recorder and straight into your a7 IV or whatever camera you are using and there you are you have the high quality audio and i realized it's like why haven't been why haven't i been doing this like forever from before when i had my fx3 and it's like it makes so much more sense for you to get that high quality audio because it means you don't have to sync it in post you can have the audio straight from the zoom h4 into the camera and you can have a backup if you really want to of recording internally into the or externally i guess into the zoom recorder and yeah that's that's it problem solved so before i wrap up i'll give you a few tips that will make this whole process a lot easier and First thing is just make sure you set your levels right. It sounds obvious, but because you're now controlling levels on the external recorder and the FX or the, so the A7 IV, you do want to make sure you get them right because if you're clipping too high on this, that's going to clip on both this and that. So what I tend to do is find the correct line out level in here, send that to my A7 IV so I can get that as low as possible. So on my A7 IV, I actually have the gain on either one or two. So literally the bare minimum so i can reduce the amount of work the the fx oh I keep getting these cameras confused i can, can reduce the amount of work that the a7 IV has to do with the audio gain and put most of the work on the zoom recorder because that has better preamps so the audio coming out of this will be a lot higher quality so i have this set to usually at line out minus 20 i believe and then on the camera it's usually one to two and yeah that's pretty much it just obviously make sure you aren't clipping in any areas I would just record a backup on here just in case. So just put an SD card in there. And yeah, there you have it. You have your audio, high quality audio in your camera that doesn't have any XLR inputs. So yeah, if you've got a lesson, laugh or a light bulb moment from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like down below. And if you're feeling actually nice, you can hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.